Hello, um, my name is Tim and this is Studio Oriented. Welcome to one of the uh, latest tutorials. Um, I call it the Pirate Charger Jump because I said no charger. And basically it's, this tutorial will be focusing on a single um, shot as opposed to uh, uh, many individual uh, uh, shots that has many other things inside. So if you look at the, um, the quick uh, video I made, I'm going to put it on uh, mute. Um, we have this environment that we built using Megascan assets. And then we're just going to animate this car, jump it down, jump it through this fireball we're making, and then, you know, do some particles and treat like a single shot. Um, we'll be using, we'll be using, um, things in Houdini such as uh, the the new GPU solvers. Uh, again, of course, for the particles, we're going to be doing the, the pop solver. The, there's some uh, destruction happening. We're going to use the, uh, the, the pull solver for that. And then um, we're going to do a little bit of shading using Redshift uh, for the Megascan assets. I'm going to show how to import the Megascan assets as well. Um, however, due to me not owing the the uh, mega scan assets and them being a, a free assets i'll supply you the names of these assets so you can download if you want to match the scene otherwise just need to match the principles um and and uh, at the end you'll end up with something like this which should be fairly sufficient to get you going once you receive a, a similar shot that requires a, a similar outputs all right at the end of the lesson, we're going to end up with our scene like this, um, where we will create our um, lights and we're going to have our camera. So if I put around the camera here, I put it on audio auto. Let's see if it's going to load quick enough. And we're going to create our environments. Uh, maybe my NAS is not up. No, it's fine. And we're going to create our environments. We have a, a, a simple road. And there are some cones that I downloaded from Megascan, obviously. There's a barrel. Again, just a set dress. There's a truck that I found. A free track on the internet. These are free. Even though they are free, I cannot redistribute them. So I'm just going to give you the path of where I found them. And there's uh, these rails again, because the kind of sets and so on and so forth. And then after we built the our environment, which is now this is our environment, we're going to work on our car. Here's our car. Also a free asset. I also had to do uh, quite a lot of cleanup on it. Now materials so on and so forth, which I'll walk you through. It's just to give you a general sense of um, overall Houdini workflow. And then there's a little retime happening here because we kind of, if you guys remember, it all goes slow more around after the flames are out. So here. So I tried doing this in entirely nuke, but um, there was a lot of issues with the uh, artifacts. Um, then we're going to constrain little lights. As you can, guys can see, there's other little lights here. On the nose of the car, headlights. There are two of them at the back as well. And, um, and, and finally, once we have all this set up, which is almost like uh, doing an environment and layout workflow, but inside Houdini, then we'll move into the uh, simulations. Um, we will do the firewall, which I, which is the one I call behind. Generally speaking, uh, if I go here, I have this box that is points from volume. It's just like a little source. Really, uh, this is the impact smoke. Sorry, wrong one. So I have the road. 
I just have a little scatter. This has uh, probably a seed, animated seed. Using the um, the new nodes attribute adjust float. Now hooking that up to a pirate burst source. And when I press play, and if I look through the camera, I'm getting this random bursts. Every frame. And a little bit of randomization happening here. Just temperature and burn multiplied by uh, sort of things to make, making sure that nothing goes under because I wasn't paying so much attention. Like if I go here to here, yes, so that's fine. And finally, volume rasterize, rasterize attribute is going to give us the our sources that we need. Then I'm just going to put this on manual now to, so I can increase the resolution. Maybe the two. I think this was already high actually. Let's go here, put on auto. And now the minimal minimal OpenCL solver needs to source the sources in advance for the frame range as defined in the uh, collision and sourcing frame range section. So you just have to wait until uh, the entire thing is sourced. Once you do that though, and if your resolution is reasonable is this still loading and you'll see this like incredibly fast simulations that are happening depending on the the video card this one is running on a uh, nvidia 3090 and um since this one is just the introduction i'll just continue then we're going to do the um we're going to do some cloth sims just floating around and uh, and then we're going to set them on fire, so on and so forth. We're going to add some rain, some smoke, and then we will go to set up our render layers, burning cloth, fire, sparks, particles, explosion environment, etc. And we will comp them in in your favorite compositing software and we will end up uh, uh, with what I showed you um, okay so in next lesson we will start creating our environment and I'll uh, show you how to set up the uh, mega scan assets